Welcome to the International Pi Show Association's How to Play Basic Pi Show video. We'll be referencing the rules set listed in the Pi Show official rules and gameplay book found on our site. Basic Pi Show is the standard Pi Show style recognized by the International Pi Show Association. It's a simplified version of Ancient Pi Show. It was modified to make the game easier to learn and quicker to play. As for playing materials, you will need a standard pie show board, as described in the Getting Started section of this book, and also displayed in our Introduction to Pie Show video. Each player receives 54 tiles. They are the Jasmine, the White Lily, the White Jade, the Rose, the Chrysanthemum, the Rhododendron, Knotweed, Wheel, Rock, Boat, White Dragon, and White Lotus. They are listed in this table with the amount of pieces you receive next to it. For gameplay, we'll start with player arrangement. Each player sits opposite of the other with one of the red triangles in front of them. These triangles are called ports. The port closest to you is your home port, and the port opposite is the foreign port. The two remaining ports are east and west, respectively. The names of these don't actually matter. Uh, they're just a way to identify them as not the home or foreign ports. You can decide between your opponent what you want to call them, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. The point in the center of the board is called the midport. The white areas are called white gardens, and the red areas not designated as ports are called red gardens. The yellow areas are called neutral gardens. The object of basic pie show is to generate the most points or harmonies before you or your opponent creates a constant chain of harmonies around the midport. A constant chain of harmonies would mean harmonies connecting between flower tiles in like a circular pattern around the midpoint. It's displayed in the image shown here. To start a game, you will flip a coin. The winner of this coin flip chooses one of the following options. You either choose the first starting tile to place on the board, or you can make the first move. Let's assume you won the coin flip and you chose the first starting tile to place on the board. Next, there will be six tiles each placed on the board. These tiles are called spring flowers, and they're placed while alternating between you and your opponent. So essentially, each of you controls the placement of three flowers. So let's say for your first flower, you place a rose here, as shown in the image. Your opponent must play a rose now in a the opposite mirrored position to yours, as shown in the image above. You may only place spring flowers on your side of the board, and red flowers cannot be placed in white gardens, and white flowers cannot be placed in red gardens. You'll continue the placement of spring flowers until each you and your opponent have your six spring flowers on the board. During a turn, during your turn, you may make one of the following moves. You may move a tile that is already in play. If the tile is a non-flower, you may use its special ability after its movement. You may place a new tile, or you can use just the ability of a non-flower. As a note, you cannot place a tile if the starting point is occupied by another tile, regardless of whether you can capture it. Tiles and Movement White Flower The white flowers consist of the jasmine, the lily, and the white jade. The jasmine starts at the home port. It moves up to three spaces at one time in a straight line, and it harmonizes with the lily and rhododendron, and clashes with the rose. The lily starts at either the east or the west port. It moves two spaces in one direction, and then two spaces in another direction. It moves in the shape of an L and harmonizes with jasmine, white jade, clashes with the chrysanthemum. The white jade starts at the midport, moves up to five spaces in it in one direction. It's not affected by the boat, and it harmonizes with lily and rose, clashes with the rhododendron. As for the red flowers, they are made up of the rose, the chrysanthemum, and the rhododendron. The rose starts at the foreign port, 
moves up to three spaces at one time in a straight line, and harmonizes with the white jade and chrysanthemum, and it clashes with the jasmine. The chrysanthemum starts at either the east or west port, moves two spaces in one direction, and two spaces in another direction, moves in the shape of an L, and it harmonizes with the rose and rhododendron, and clashes with the lily. The rhododendron starts at the midport, moves up to five spaces in one direction, it's not affected by the boat, and it harmonizes with chrysanthemum and jasmine, and clashes with the white drake. For the chrysanthemum and the lily, which move in the shape of an L, keep in mind that they must move in the L shape first. This means they cannot move in three spaces in a straight line. If you move to the left, two, you are now required to move the third space either up or down. For non-flowers, please note that these tiles may be removed by any tile, but that tile is also removed. They can be placed on the board only after the first turn, and they cannot form harmonies. The knotweed may be placed anywhere that is at least one space away from a port, and when it's placed, all tiles that are within one space are drained and may not be moved or form harmonies. The knotweed cannot move by itself, and when it's captured, the surrounding pieces are no longer drained. Knotweed does not affect knotweed. The wheel may be placed on any neutral garden. It moves all tiles within one space in a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, and it moves any number of spaces in one direction. The boat may be placed only in a red or a white garden. It is able to move to neutral gardens after that. It moves up to five spaces in any combination of directions. It does not disrupt harmonies and can push any tile one space away as long as the destination space is empty. The boat may also move up to three of your tiles, five spaces, in any direction. It can only do this if it has yet to move, and it prevents the movement of the boat after that. The rock may be placed on any space, it cannot be moved by any means, and it takes all harmonious traits of an adjacent flower. The rock does not take harmonious traits from special flowers. For example, if a rock is placed next to, let's say, the rhododendron, it therefore gains the traits of the rhododendron in harmonization. So it will now harmonize with the chrysanthemum and the jasmine, and it will clash with the jade. Special flowers. Please note that these tiles may land anywhere on the board, and they can be put on the board only after the first three turns of each player. The white dragon must be placed on the opponent's side of the board. It moves up to six spaces in a straight line, may move over any tile, and may capture or be captured by any tile. It does not form harmonies or clash with any tile. The white lotus must be placed on your side of the board, it moves up to two spaces in any direction, it may be captured or be captured by any tile. While blooming, the white lotus may form a harmony with any other flower, including the opponents, but only the player owning the lotus receives the, the points for that harmony. Moving tiles. You can't move tiles over opponent's tile unless otherwise stated, such as the white dragon. You cannot move a tile onto the port after it has left the port. A red flower cannot end its move in white gardens, and white garden or white flowers cannot end their moves in red gardens, uh, but they can end their move on a space containing uh, sections of both red and white gardens. You cannot move a tile into a space where it clashes with another of your own flowers. If a piece is found in this position later in the game, just return that piece to the owner's reserve pile. As for removing tiles, uh, landing on a tile may or may not remove it from the board. The following rules must apply. It must clash with the tile. Example, a jasmine may capture a rose. It must be your opponent's tile. All captured tiles are placed in the pot, and a flower that is placed into an incorrect garden by a boat or a wheel is then returned to the player's reserve pile. Harmonies, Disharmonies, and Clashing Harmonies are how you score points. Uh, in order to create a harmony, you must align two tiles in a straight, uninterrupted line, and they must be harmonious. Each harmony generates one point. But, if a red flower is in a red garden, and a white flower is in a white garden, and they are in harmony, they create something called a natural harmony, which generates two points. Harmonies can only be formed by your own tiles, 
except in the case of a blooming white lotus tile, which will allow you to use your opponent's pieces. You cannot create a tile that it or you cannot create a harmony with a tile that is still in its starting position. So your spring flowers you place at the beginning of the game cannot form harmonies until they have been moved. Uh, disharmonies are created when you disrupt an opponent's harmony with a tile that clashes with either of the two harmonious tiles. Uh, disharmonies result in the loss of one point, and if it's a natural harmony that is disrupted, two points are lost. Harmonies and disharmonies will continue to generate points each turn they remain intact. This can be a difficult thing to keep track of, so between you and your opponent you can decide if you want to only count points for when the harmonies are created, or if you want to count points each turn they are still intact as well. You may not place one of your own flowers in such a way that causes it to clash or create a disharmony with your own tiles. Like stated above, if, the, if a piece like this is found, just remove it to uh, your reserve pile. The harmony ring, shown here, uh, is a simplified version to see which tiles are harmonious and uh, which tiles are clashing. Any of the tiles connected with a green line are harmonious. Anything connected with a red line clash, and anything not connected with a line have no effect on each other. Scoring and ending the game. So at the end of the game, each player tallies the port points scored for all the harmonies they've completed. Uh, like stated above, uh, natural harmonies gain extra points. Uh, any tiles that are within three spaces of a white lotus are considered protected by the white lotus and gain an additional point. And then each tile that is not protected by a white lotus, essentially every tile, uh, every other tile remaining on the board, uh, will lose you one point. Uh, keep in mind you get a point every time you create a harmony, not just at the end of the game. So keep a tally of your points. In order to end the game, a player must form a chain of harmonies around the midport and win. Uh, they also win the pot, uh, as shown here is the harmonies around the midpoint. Uh, you will still count tiles to determine the winner. Uh, the game ends if a player is left with only three harmonious tiles, which is too few to create a harmony, a harmony chain, and the other player wins the pot. You will still count tiles to determine the winner. A player reaches a number of uh, predetermined number of points. Uh, this will prevent anyone from getting the pot. Uh, just that person uh, wins if they have that many points. And or a player forfeits and the opponent wins. In basic pie show, there is something called the pot. The pot is where all the tiles that were removed from the board uh, go. Each player gets one point for each of their opponent's tiles in the pot. And the player who wins the pot gets to claim any wager made. Usually a wager uh, is a number of extra points or money, but you can wager anything as long as you agree on it with your opponent. As for counting points, like stated above, you gain points from the pot, one point from protected lotus, you lose a point from any dead tiles. Uh, as for winning the game, the winner is decided by totaling up all the points gained throughout and after the game. Uh, this includes points from harmonies, the pot, protection, death, etc. Uh, and regardless of the winner of the pot, or regardless of the winner of the game, the pot still goes to whoever won it. So you are capable of winning the game and losing the pot. Or vice versa. Uh, special terms here are listed. You can visit this site and read Pi Show official rules and gameplay for more information on that. And that is the end of the How to Play Basic Pie Show video.